Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to look on to addition and subtraction of matrices. But mark you, you can only add or subtract matrices of the same dimension. And what do we mean by this dimension? Is the number of rows and columns in that matrix. So the number of rows and columns of two or more matrices must be the same for you to add or subtract them. Okay, let's get started. Example, let us add a matrix A and B. You can see these two matrices are of the same dimension. Two by two matrices. So how can we add them? To add them, you must add an element to its corresponding element to the other matrix. Two here. The position of these two is at A11. This is B11. Okay, let me represent them. This is A. The four matrices, let us represent them. We have A11. This is A12. A21. A22. While this is matrix B. One one B one two B two one B two two. You know these subscript numbers are here to represent number of rows and column. This is row one, column one, row one, column two, row two, column one, row two, column two. So to add A and B, A plus B. You must add their corresponding elements. So we add A11 and B11 together. Then you give a space, you add A12 and B12 together. Then you come here, you add A21 and B21 together. You add A22 and B2 two together this is how you do it okay now let us substitute a11 is 2 here you can see it so we have 2 plus b11 is equal to 5 so we have 5 here then we move a12 is 3 so we have 3 plus we equally have 3 there we have one plus we have one also we have five and we have two to the other side you must add them together with their corresponding element at the same position so this is equal to if you simplify we have two plus five equal to seven uh, three plus three is equal to six 1 plus 1 equal to 2. Pi plus 2 is equal to 7. So by adding matrix A and matrix B, we are able to obtain another single matrix, 7, 6, 2, 7. So this is how to add matrices. You must make sure that they are of the same dimension. That's number one. Number two, every element is to be added to its corresponding element. Let us take another one. Suppose we want to add three by three matrices. Two, one, five, three, negative one, two, seven, negative three, five, together with another matrix, also three by three, five, two, negative five, I have three, two, negative two, we have seven, three, and three. So now let us add them together. Remember what I told you? Every element must be added to each corresponding element. We have two here at first row column one. First row column one is five, so we have two plus 5 there. You give a space, we have 3 plus 3 
3 plus 3 you move we have 7 plus 7 second row we have 1 plus 2 we have negative 1 plus 2 we have negative 3 plus 3 we have 5 plus but minus is stronger we use minus instead 2 also minus 2 then 5 plus 3 let us simplify and obtain our final result 2 plus 5 is 7 3 plus 3 is 6 7 plus 7 is 14 second row we have 1 plus 2 is 3 we have negative 1 plus 2 is 1 negative 3 plus 3 is 0 5 plus 5 minus 5 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 5 plus 3 is 8 so this is the result after adding these two matrices let us look on to subtraction let me just use these two matrices suppose we want to subtract instead of adding to subtract this matrix from this, we follow the same pattern. This element here is at row 1, column 1. You have to subtract this from that. So this is what we're going to obtain. We have 2 minus instead of addition. We have 3 minus 3. 7 minus 7. Second row, we have 1 minus 2, then minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 3. Then the last row is 5, minus, minus 5. We have 2, minus, minus 2, and 5, minus 3. Let us simplify and obtain our final result. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So we have negative 3 here. 3 minus 3 is 0. So we have 0 here. 7 minus 7 is also 0. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. Minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6. Minus minus is plus, so 5 plus 5 is 10. Minus minus plus 2 plus 2 is 4. 5 minus 3 is 2. So this is the result after subtracting this matrix from this matrix. Let's take one more example. Let a matrix A be 2, 1, 3, 2. Let's be be another matrix of minus 1, 3, 2, and 5. Another matrix C to be equal to 4, minus 3, 1, and 2. Okay, let us form a question here. We want to say A minus B plus C. We want to form a matrix of this form. This is going to be, for A we have 2, 1, 3, 2. Minus sign, we have B. Minus 1, 3, 2, 5. Then the last one we add this matrix. 4, negative 3, 1, and 2. Now we can do it anyhow. If we like, we can add these two matrix. Then we subtract from the first matrix. We can as well subtract this from this, the result we add to this. Or we can carry them simultaneously, all together. And I think it's the best for me. I can carry them all along. Uh, this becomes 2, 1, 3, 2. 
two minus minus one then plus four I can carry them all along then you give a space three minus two plus one three minus two plus one then you come here one minus three one minus three then plus minus so minus is stronger so therefore we use minus then the last element here we have 2 minus 5 then plus 2 we close we simplify to obtain our final result this is plus because of minus minus so we have 2 plus 1 is 3 then 3 plus 4 is 7 we have 7 here 1 minus 3 is minus 2 the minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 so we have minus 5 here coming here we have 3 minus 2 is 1 then 1 plus 1 is 2 2 minus 5 is minus 3 then minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 so this is the result after performing this simplification a minus b plus c in our next class, we are going to look on to scalar multiplication of matrix. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.